Let me tell you the story of David and Mehdi. They both have a lot in common. They're 21 years old and they both work for minimum wage in fast food restaurants. The difference is that David works in the United Kingdom and Mehdi works in Morocco. So how do their minimum wage lifestyles compare? In this video, we're going to find out. In Morocco, the minimum wage depends on who you work for. There's a higher minimum wage for public sector workers and just 14.13 dirham or £1.16 per hour for public sector workers. In the United Kingdom, the minimum wage depends on age. The highest is for people over 25. Because David is 21 years old, he will earn a minimum of £8.20 or just under 100 dirhams an hour. This means in a normal workday, David will just about earn in one hour what Mehdi will earn in one day. But before all Moroccan burger flippers run away to the United Kingdom, there are a few things to take into account. Both countries have a maximum number of hours a boss can make his employee work in any given week. In Morocco, it's illegal to force someone to work more than 44 hours. In the United Kingdom, that maximum is 48 hours, four hours extra per week. The United Kingdom has one of the longest working weeks in all of Europe. In fact, it's one of the longest in all the world. Let's imagine the UK boss only makes David work the 44 hours that Mehdi works in Morocco. At the end of the week, Mehdi will have earned 619 dirhams, about 51 pounds, for 44 hours work. David will have earned nearly 394, or just over 4,760 dirham. Both David and Mehdi will have to pay tax on their income. David is allowed to earn £12,500 each year before he pays tax at the rate of 20%. This means David pays £24.59 each week in tax the equivalent of three days' wage for Mehdi. In Morocco, Mehdi can earn 3,000 dirham before tax, which is at a rate of 7%. This means Mehdi pays about 37.5 dirham each week in tax, the equivalent of about 20 minutes of David's earnings. Both guys live with their parents. In the UK, there is a culture of children of the family regularly contributing to the household finances when they start earning. The amount can vary a lot, but for a minimum wage earner like David, it will be a nominal amount. Let's say £10, or 121 dirham each week. Moroccans are more likely to contribute on an irregular basis, buying items such as food, and basic household items as and when. Both David and Mehdi need to use public transport because they can't afford to buy a car. For Mehdi, six return journeys a week is 60 dirham. For David, it's 31 pounds and 20 pence. David spends about £13 each week on credit for his phone. Mehdi spends 15 dirhams a week. Both guys work out at a gym, spending £3.50 and 50 dirhams per week, respectively. They also go to the cinema once a week. For David, the ticket costs £10, and for Mehdi, it's 50 dirham. Both guys buy toiletries such as deodorants or razors each week. This comes to £1.40 for David 
and 25 dirham for Mehdi. Both David and Mehdi like to drink a coffee a day. For David, that's going to cost about £14, and the takeaway coffee will be drunk very quickly as part of his waking up process. For Mehdi, seven coffees will cost about 70 dirham. They will be drunk at a leisurely pace as part of his socialising. Cheers. Assuming neither guy wants to get fat by having a free burger each day for lunch, David will spend about £30 a week for a simple lunch of a sandwich and a cold drink. Mehdi will spend about 200 dirham, but this could be a nutritional hot meal rather than just a sandwich. If David were to buy the same sort of food, he would pay £50, more than 600 dirham. Being 21 years old, both boys like to socialise a lot. But here's where the comparison starts to become quite difficult. In the United Kingdom, it's much more likely that David is going to socialise with his friends in bars and pubs over some beers. In Morocco, it's likely that Mehdi will meet with his friends in a cafe. The differences between cafe and bar culture have a huge impact on spending. For Mehdi, socialising can cost him all of his remaining income, especially if cigarettes and beer are involved. This is 2020 and an increasing number of young Moroccans drink alcohol. But if Mehdi didn't smoke or drink beer, he would have about 67 dirhams or five pounds remaining. We can expect David to spend two nights a week in a pub with friends. He could spend about 20 pounds during the week on socializing. On a weekend, David could easily spend an additional 100 pounds having fun socializing. If David smoked a box of cigarettes a day, he would have 60 pounds remaining at the end of the week. However, the majority of people in the UK don't smoke, so it's reasonable to assume that David doesn't want to give himself cancer. This smart decision means David has almost £132, or just over 1,645 dirhams, left at the end of the week, about two and a half times what Mehdi earns in a week, or just over one and a half times Mehdi's monthly income. But a minimum wage lifestyle is nothing more than a lifestyle of survival. It's not a way of building a career, or starting a family. And that's true in Morocco, but it's also true in the United Kingdom.